everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's video i am going to be testing a few different slugs in 22 caliber from a brick break barrel um the rifle that i'm going to be using is the crossman crusher in 22 caliber it is nitro piston um with pellets it's pushing around 16 foot pounds and with slugs i think it's pushing like around 12. um so there's a few slugs that do perform pretty well from this gun um, the groups are pretty decent at the distance that I was shooting so I might do further testing with uh, this break barrel I do have a uh, a few different slugs that I am going to be getting here pretty soon uh, for further testing with uh, some of the slugs so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get to it all right so we are going to start with uh, let's see 17.5 grains 217.5 uh, these are the NSA slugs in 22 caliber and I am going to be using my brake barrel which is the Crossman Crusher in 22 caliber I have a pretty cheap scope on here but it's pretty good for this rifle um, my target which is right here is about um, about like 30 yards maybe so we're gonna see what kind of velocity we get velocities and what kind of groups we get so, let's see and that is the shot that I just took a few minutes ago so let's see So that was 603 feet per second, 608 feet per second, so far the groups look pretty good, not bad at all, here we go once again. Alright so let's go down range and take a look. All right, so here is my group. Um, as you can see, all the shots are lined up pretty straight. You don't really see them like going to the sides too much. So I believe I have two shots in here on this one here. And then this is like a four inch group, um, you know, just vertical, I guess, which is not bad at all, I think. So yeah, here we go. So what I think was happening when I was shooting the slugs, um, I probably wasn't holding the rifle how I should have been, or the slugs were in the rifle a little bit too long, um, so the recoil was just making the gun just go like straight back. Um, I think that's what made my group be like this um, in height, but I guess not bad. I guess uh, let's continue with the other slugs. So now we're going to be trying out the 20 grains griffin slugs hollow base yes so you guys have a better idea of how they look this is how they look pretty cool so i am going to be using the same gun which is this one here the crossman crusher in 22 caliber everything's the same distance is the same everything is the same so Alright, so here is the group of the uh, Griffin slugs in 20 grains. Um, as you can see, there's one here, two, three, four, five. So the group is not as good as the other the other slugs that I just shot, but you know. Alright, so here we go. Let's go back. Okay, now we're going to be testing out the 19 grains hollow base Griffin ammo 22 caliber. Um, as you can see, these slugs here, they are pretty old. I've, I've had them for a while now. Um, and they do have like this white stuff around here. So what I'm going to do is just shoot them like this. I'm going to look for the ones that have a, a good base, a good hollow base, that it's, they're not messed up. Uh, let's see. There's a few of them that are pretty good in here. So I'm going to shoot them just like this with this white stuff. 
I'm gonna do a five shot group and then I'm gonna shoot them once again with the oil see if there's a big difference in the groups so here we go um, I do feel these slugs just being a little bit more uh, tight in the barrel so they might shoot a little bit better than the 20 grains did so let's see so far they, they are grouping just a little bit better All right, let's go look at the group. So the groups do look a little bit better than the other the other groups. So let's go look. All right, so here's the group. Um, as you can see, I had one down here, um, all the way from the from the rest. So not bad. I'm guessing this is about um, two to three inches from here to here. If it wasn't with this one, that would have been like a inch and a quarter, inch and a half. So not bad. So let me paint him. Then we'll test them out right now with the oil on them, see how they do. So far, I just put some oil on here, some grease. This is what I'm using. This is basically for the dirt bike uh, stuff or stuff like that. So let's see if we get a higher velocity of what we've been getting lately with uh, these slugs. And remember, these are the... 19 grains hollow base griffin ammo slugs and 22 caliber let's see if the group is any different from what we just shot a couple of minutes ago all right guys so the slugs definitely shot better this time Let's go down range and take a look at the groups. Right, so here's my group. So as you can see, these groups here are way better than I've been getting lately with these slugs and the other slugs. So I'm going to say that's about um, about two inches from here to here. That's about two inches. And we're not really going to count this flyer just because. But two inches, not bad. We are going to be definitely checking out the expansion, see if they do expand at that velocity so i'm getting so yeah all right so that's gonna be it for the video um so i wasn't thinking i was gonna get some good results like this so i think i just might keep um doing more videos with the brake barrel see if we can get maybe better groups in this uh with other slugs so yeah that's gonna be it for the video um, i'll see you until next time and peace